Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be replacing a compressor for a water source heat pump. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. In my previous video I diagnosed this compressor to be faulty. We have a grounded compressor. This is a water source heat pump. It is a R22 unit and it is 42,000 BTUs. I have my manifold connected to the system at the moment and we're gonna begin by recovering the refrigerant. The system is empty of refrigerant. Here are our ports. These are some strange ports. I actually can't take the pins out, but if you press it down, you can see that it is empty. So it is what it is. We gotta get to this compressor. I have the exact same one as far as pipe work. I believe I could just unsweat these and maybe get the new one in just by pushing the pipes to the side a little bit. I do recommend that you cut it so you don't get hit with oil and start a fire, but I wanna do this as fast as possible, so I'm gonna unbrace it. Compressor has four bolts and then it can lift up, but first let's disconnect the piping. The electrical is already disconnected. Hold up. Our three pipes are disconnected, electrical is disconnected, four bolts are out. We can now try to get this thing out of here. It's a pretty tight space. It's three and a half tons, it's a heavy, heavy one. All right, the compressor is out of the way. Those are the four bolts. It's just very hard to work where I am because I'm like pinched between a wall. And we got this electrical in our way. But we got it out. Let's go ahead and mount the new one. Got the new compressor in. I must say it was a struggle. You guys didn't see it, but it was a struggle getting this in here. Here's the suction line, matches up perfectly. Here's our discharge line, matches up perfectly. And we also have this. This is gonna go in here. This is our processing tube. And that matches up perfectly. That's why I didn't wanna cut the pipe. Just wanna make straight connections. So we're gonna make one, two, three connections. And we're gonna be good to go. We're gonna first sand this stuff down. Got this just about piped out. There's a little bit of brace sticking out here. So I do have it in the fitting, but what I'm gonna do is heat this up and then tap down on the pipe, make sure it goes fully in there, and then brace. I'm gonna have to do the same for the suction line. We're gonna pressurize the system with nitrogen right now. Got the gauges on, and we're gonna check for leaks using this micro gas leak detector. So we're gonna check these connections for leaks. I know you guys might be wondering what happened with the filter dryer. I know it's weird, but there's actually no filter dryer in this system. I've worked on a few of these units in this building before, and there is none. I know it's really strange. Should probably put a bi-flow filter, as this is a heat pump, but Regardless, it is what it is. Right now my connections are looking good. And if it is, we're gonna dump the nitrogen and we're gonna put the system in a vacuum. We dumped the nitro from the system. Got these open, got a vacuum gauge on. Let's go ahead and start this vacuum. All right, we're at 30 inches. 
go ahead and get this started. Let's pull a good vacuum, but while we're doing that, we can get into the wiring here. So, old compressor had a run capacitor and a contactor. The new one has a start and run capacitor. And when we have a start capacitor in play, we need to disengage that once the compressor starts. And the only way to do that is with a relay. So I'm gonna have to use a potential relay specifically and get rid of this contactor and wire all this stuff up. While he braises that shut, we're already below 500 microns. That's a beautiful thing. All right, everyone. Got that in there. Looking a little crazy. Got the star cap mounted there. Run cap mounted there. Hopefully this thing is wired right. <laughs> if you read the tag on the unit, it says it takes 54 ounces. So I got a tank. A 427A here. This is a direct replacement for R22. And I got my scale here. We're going to zero it out. And we're going to charge 54 ounces. Hopefully, I have enough refrigerant in here. No, they're already fine. Yeah. They're all right, already 54 ounces. Henry as my tight end. All right, all right. Running beautifully. We did the job. Got 48.3 PSIG on the back side, 250 on the high side. Suction line is 64 degrees. Superheat's a little bit high. If we add some refrigerant, should bring those temperatures down on the suction line and bring our head pressure back up a little bit. So we just gotta get this a little bit right. But we are running and that is a beautiful thing. Everything's looking pretty good. The pressure's running. Just want to balance out these pressures a bit. Our high side is a bit high. Water strainer might be dirty. I'm going to clean that before I head out of here and make sure we have a clean filter. But pretty much we replaced this compressor and rewired everything and everything is looking great. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.